When negotiating with Arabs, please always consider the respect. Hello, I'm Agnes Kunkel, your host at Nego.coach. We make negotiation success easy. Our guest today is Mohsen El Badramani. Born in Egypt, Mohsen studied in Cairo and later earned his MBA in the United Kingdom. He worked in Egypt, Dubai, United Kingdom and Germany first as a business executive and then as a consultant, mediator and mentor. He has a profound knowledge and ample experience in building a bridge between the Western and the Arab culture areas. Welcome Mohsen El Badramani. Hello Mohsen. Welcome to the Nego.coach video show. Mohsen, I heard in, uh, you'd use a little quiz. Mohsen, I heard you use a little quiz to teach the differences between the uh, Western and Arab culture areas. I wonder whether I, with my modest Middle East business experience, would be able to answer one single question correctly. Shall we try it out? Yes, hello Stefan. Thank you for having me in the Nego Coach. Indeed, several aspects play a big role in understanding the effect of the Arab culture in the negotiation. It is essential to consider two principles, namely the religion, the will of God, and inshallah, I think you have heard this word before, inshallah. The Arab values reflected in motivation, performance, appraisal, time, respect, recognition, and material rewards. These are essential to understand that and also to look at what is the effect of these culture issues on these subjects. Let's have a look into business negotiation. I ask you the following question. For the past six months, you have been discussing a joint venture with an Arab government uh, agency. During the past, the last visit, your Arab counterpart invited you to visit a historical site for the day. While you were touring the site, he started talking about the joint venture. I ask you, is this his way of strengthening his personal rapport with you, showing his pride in his country historical tradition, persuading you to change your mind on a part of the joint venture agreement, or oblig obliging you to invite him to your country. What do you think, Stefan? Oh, Mohsen, this is a tricky question. I think it's the first of the answers, strengthening the personal rapport with me. Well, Stefan, after six months, the Arab counterpart has already established a, a personal rapport with you and has gathered information about your role and all aspects you can contribute to the joint venture. He is now in the persuading stage. He has created this opportunity to persuade you to make some concession on part of the joint venture agreement. Arab uses such opportunities to show that historically and interest in long-term relationship, which is in this case is appropriate for entering into a joint venture agreement. The historical site visit is a way to show you that long-term and making together uh, and working together and making history is a main issue for entering such a joint venture agreement. And to say that for such a long-term association, it is worth for you to reconsider your position on some of the points of this agreement in this joint venture contract. That's interesting. So the historical side stands as a paraphrase for the historical agreement. And I should read more between the lines 
such as to adopt more flexibility with respect to my claims and requests. Let's imagine a case where I've made already quite a couple of concessions, but there is some more uh, clauses in our agreement which I cannot alter for whatsoever reason. Is there a way I can stay firm without having my counterparty lose his face? I think so, because you have already done and considered the whole relationship and already given some uh, concession from your side. So the counterpart, you can, you can uh, emphasize the importance of coming together. You have given some and he, you expect him to give in and find the right way and use his, his idea of historical relationship into producing this final agreement in the joint venture and showing him that is, again, from your side, it's a long-term relationship and it's worth him considering the position. And I think for, for general, generally, both sides can find this compromise without any problem. Thank you very much, Mosen, for your valuable tips. I'm sure that our audience will appreciate it. Thanks again. And I hope to see you soon in the Nego.coach video show. Bye bye and take care. Thank you very much for having me and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching. Please follow us on LinkedIn or our website Nego.coach. Soon you will find their new episodes on body language, international negotiations, large negotiations and great and wonderful guests. Any comments, any questions, please contact us at hello at nego.coach. Thank you. Hope to see you soon on nego.coach.